<clears throat> well, I mean, obviously, uh, something we've done all year, been resilient as possible, and we've been in some tough moments. We always find a way to fight through it. Um, I just thought this was a, a case of, you know, first game, you know, just some jitters. And I thought the first half, we showed it. I mean, we shot 17% the first half, 0% from the three. And that's not characteristic of us. And we just, you know, came back and shot, you know, 50% from the field and 60. And we were just more comfortable the second half. But one thing we did from jump ball to finish was guard. You know, we held them to 30% both halves. Um, and we did a tremendous job at that aspect. And I think that um, is that alone kept us in the game. You know, going into halftime down 12, and, and trust me, we felt like we were down 30, you know, the way we played. And we look up, it's just a 12-point game, and we felt like we still had a chance. And guys, just um, one, one thing I can say about this group, and we showed it for sure today, we never got down on each other. We never went back and forth with each other. We stayed positive. Um, we stayed together. And, you know, that's a, that's a big moment for us. Uh, especially at this point of the year. Uh, that's where you expect to be as a team. Appreciate those comments. Coach Wood, I'm going to throw the first your questions to our student athletes. Uh, Romano, talk about the battle. Uh, you had the team struggle on the perimeter. You kind of kept things going in the paint today. Um, you know, Coach stresses, uh, you know, play inside out. Play inside out, play inside out, because, uh, you know, our bigs are very, very unselfish. I like to pass, which, you know, gets on me sometimes passing a little too much. Um, but, you know, that's that's where our strong suit is, I feel. And, you know, a lot of the guys are, you know, really starting to come into that into that aspect of what Coach wants and, you know, how he wants us to play inside out. Because, I mean, when we play inside out, everybody gets love. Everybody, you know, is playing. Everybody's hooping. Everybody's happy. Everybody's sharing the ball, getting the ball. You know, everybody's hyped up on the bench. Defense is ten times more intense. Um, so, you know, I mean, just being that spark on the inside is, is pretty key for this team. Have, have either one of y'all played in a game like this before? Yes, sir, I have. Uh, my freshman year here, we played Texas Southern. Was up like three with 10 seconds left, maybe went to overtime and lost. So we've been here before, but I've been here before, so I just want to keep my teammates, you know, keep their head on straight. Uh, that's it. Uh, I mean, me personally, I had this, I had experience like this just last year, man. I went to the tournament with the Big West, uh, Long Beach State. Game. Got to the championship game. Um, you know, I can run down and play for y'all if y'all need me to. But we lost 72-71 at the buzzer. Didn't get a shot up, man. So, you know, coming from that, I'm hungry, man. I, I need to punch this ticket. I'm trying to get there because I came way, way too close last year. So I'm really trying to get there again, man. Uh, can you talk about the matchup uh, with Douglas? You really seem to take that personal uh, later in the game. Oh, yeah, I definitely took it. Took it personal, you know. Uh, Will Douglas, he's a great player. You know, been playing against him for two years. You know, seeing seen him in the regular season. I just wanted to come out, so I'm on just as good as him. Better, really. <coughs> Talk about just the emotions from banking that three <coughs> near the top of the key and then dunk that. <laughs> the, the, that didn't happen. But but what I, I'll speak on that though. The thing is, and I get on Ken all the time is. He get down on himself too quick. And he missed that dunk, and he was the guy that had to guard the potential winning basket. Right. And he stayed down and didn't foul him. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll answer that one. Because I know, that, yes, emotions is high from the three, and he go from rock bottom to missing that dunk. And I'm watching the whole play, and he stayed locked in. He looked up at the clock. He knew exactly how much time he had to get a shot off. At that point, it was about three seconds. He knew he had to take a three. We were screaming no threes. He stayed up and then fouled. Um, you know, so I, like I just said, I mean, I understand the emotion of that. Because not just him, I, my emotion was high to low. But I had to get right back in the game. I'm screaming, get back, get back, load up, no threes. So we just had to continue to keep playing. This ice water in your veins to, to bank that shot. Oh yeah, for so, sure. Uh, That's just a shot I work on in the gym by myself. You know a lot. Uh, I've been taking big shots since my freshman year in high school. I think I hit like two game winners my ninth grade year. So I feel like I got ice in my veins, like you said. For so. sure. Is there any feeling better than winning? No oh better, no. No better feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Coach, can you talk about this being your first swag tournament win? Oh, yeah. What does that feel? How does that feel? What does that mean to you? For us, I mean, it, it's love. You know, I, I, I just feel like, you know, this team is so together. And, and, and I'm going to speak on this, and it'll be the last time I speak on it. Um, I was disappointed that we didn't get recognized from some of our guys in, in the all-tournament team, finishing third in our league. But at the same time, I was, I was somewhat happy. I was somewhat happy because that kept us hungry. You know, that kept us together. And one thing about it is we don't have one person that can go out and do it. We don't depend on one guy. <laughs> you know, when you look at our team, you don't know who is going to come out and step up and step up and step up. So for me, um, yes, it was disappointing because I felt like guys deserve it, right? But at the same time, I sat back and I said, you know what? You know, that's the best thing that can happen for us because that's who we are. We don't need nobody else's recognition to separate us. We together. We win together. We lose together. And guess what? When a guy on our team had 20 and 10, he didn't do it by himself. You know, somebody had to get a rebound. Somebody had to get, a, get an assist. Somebody had to get that stop on the other end to be able to get in that offensive possession. Somebody had to set a screen for him to get open. You know, so for me, um, I'm not big into individual awards. You know, that's why I never talk about me being an all-star. That's an individual award. I talk about me being an NBA champion. I, I, wear this, I wear this right here. This is not an all-star ring. This is an SEC championship ring. You know, I, that, that's something I did collectively as, with a group, and that's what I care about the most. Absolutely. Uh, to have a, just a, a, a victory that people will talk about for a while because of the way things went tonight. I mean, what look, mean I mean, our, our fan base is second to none. And it almost felt like a home game, you know, for a minute, just the energy we felt. Um, but me being from Jackson, uh, me being able to bring guys that's not from Jackson to, you know, my hometown um, to help us do something big. And obviously I have enough players that's from the area um, that that means something to me, and the most important thing is is it's about the most important thing is about um, you know just just the camaraderie that we have not just from my team. I'm talking about administration, just how together we are, uh, how they supported us. Just to, just tonight, you know, after the game, all of them they they in it, they in it. You know, they end the fight. Um, and when you have that synergy, that energy, um, it, it, it trickles down, you know, everybody. And when you want to win and everybody wants to win and everybody wants you to be successful, um, man, I mean, it, it's second to none. So what are your team going to do to get some rest for the next game? We're going to rest. <laughs> I mean, how you rest at home? We're going to try to do the same exact thing. We're going to try to figure it out. Um, obviously, uh, we know who we play. They had a day off, um, but we played today. Uh, we coming off, we're going we to have some good energy, and we'll be ready to play tomorrow. I mean, this is this the tournament. At this point, <laughs> man, man, we, we rest later. We're going to have plenty of time to rest at some point. Um, but, but right now, this ain't the time, man. We'll be ready to play tomorrow night. Appreciate you. Thank you all. Good job, fellas. Coach,